Yeah, and you know I'm thinking of people that you lose contact with God. Amen. If you ain't man be seduced to afraid that you cannot contact God, praise God, amen, you're going to be confused, praise God. Yeah. Amen. Why? Because, amen, anybody put that is not in contact with God, he's a confused person in the first place. Yeah. Why? Because faith is what can make us stable in God, make us believe God, make us know God. You know that God is capable of doing everything they say you do, praise God. You know God is one of the people in the world. God is not a man that he should lie. Not a son of man should repent. He said that he's going to do it, praise God. This is what faith makes you continue to believe that God is going to do exactly what he said he would do. Amen. Praise God. That's what faith is all about, praise God. You make you keep you excited, amen. The children of Israel, amen, lost contact with God. Amen. Because when they say praise God, you have to praise the king God. Oh, yeah. Amen. It's all about upon miracles of the miracle. Now they, amen, the devil does seduce them to the place where they ask the question God. Uh -huh. Question the ability of God. Question God. Can God now? Can God punch the table in the world? Can God they give up meat to eat? Can God praise God? Amen. You know what? Faith always keeps you believe that God can. Can bless you. God can deliver you. God can set you free. So you keep excited all the time. But praise God. Amen. You know what? Amen. You know what? It won't grab with this kind of spirit because you're always in contact. Contact with who? Contact with heaven. Praise God. Amen. You're not confused where you're going. You know where you're going. Hallelujah, Paul said, we know in whom we trust. <laughs> we're not in doubt of where we're going. We're going to heaven or hell. We, we know where we're going. We know we're in contact with God. Pray. We know we're on the right road. Praise God. So you get amen. So you, you're excited about it. Praise God. But when you're always confused. Amen. That way he said, in the last days, I'm going to part from the faith. It's going to lead to faith, praise God. When you leave faith, you leave God. That way they leave God out of me. Because God is no way for faith. Yet, praise God. He said, without faith, it's impossible to please him. So it's impossible to please God without faith in your life. It's impossible to please God if you don't believe God. It's impossible to please anybody if you don't believe him. Amen. Amen. Can you say that again? Hey, all the only way you believe, you believe in your husband, you why you believe? Him. If you stop believing in him, you can't believe in him. So you cannot believe God unless you have faith enough to believe that God is. And he's true to what his word. Amen. You believe that God is true to his word, praise God. You believe that God will do exactly what you say you do. You don't doubt God. Glory, praise God. Amen. Not that it used to be God, it's the God that he is today. He is now. He is God now. He is God now today, tomorrow. He will always be the same. I think we do it y'all last Sunday, man. You say yesterday and no. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. So Paul said, in other days, something's going to depart. They're going to leave God. Amen. amen. And that way, amen, you can. And if you just worry about the folks they're going to leave or the folks going to leave God. Amen. People go try to say, well, God didn't mean what he said. God meant one thing and God meant this. No, no. God meant exactly what he said. Amen. But the reason why people are confused in their mind and question what God can do is because they don't let God. <laughs> you don't question something you already know. Can you say that again? You believe it, can you say that? You believe that he is, praise God, that he's going to bless you. You know what I'm saying? The day, some going to depart from the faith. He's going to leave God. Now they say, not when you say he's a part of the faith, amen, leave your praise God. And nothing that they say means they're going to leave church. You say, rather than church, you'd be unbelievable. Come on, the devil make a fool out of you, right? Church. Yeah. And you say, you know, Hallelujah. I said, The devil make a fool out of because he transferred himself. Huh? Yeah. He make you believe what you want to believe. Yeah. See, everybody wants what you want to believe. They'll let you believe it, praise God. Right. Amen. Amen. 
You don't want to believe in the real thing unless you believe something else. The devil always said, well, it ain't quite that way, you know. That way he told Eve, amen. God didn't say you were sh He didn't say God didn't say you were should not. Oh. Right. He, that's what he told him. He said, put it in God didn't say you should not, but you'll be wise. Right. Be like God. Yes. Hey, are you just one thing? It wasn't for all good, amen, praise God. But that's where the devil put it in. She believed it. Can you say it now again? Yes. Uh, amen. That's what the devil was doing now. He put it out there. It ain't right. It ain't true to that way. Right. You really can. Shut up. And you can take for granted. Yeah, well, we live in 2015, you know. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Everything changed with time, uh -huh. but not this book. Amen. Eternity don't change with time. Amen. The Bible says one day with God is a thousand years, and a thousand years that one day. So God, one day, God don't change with time, praise God. So one day is a thousand years. Amen. A thousand years that one day with the Lord. Amen. Praise God. How you just want to say it? So amen. So we say every year and everything, everything do change. Side changes. Can you say that? Yeah. They make everything look a little different. Dressing changes. Suit changes. Yeah. Everything changes. But the Bible is the help. And we're the same. And that's what man can understand. Well, faith, amen, praise God. The reason why faith makes you believe that it is the same. That would make you so excited. Faith makes you believe that this book is the same today as it was in the days of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Can you say amen again? You say amen. Faith makes you believe that you still serve the same God that they serve. Amen, praise God. And it makes you say, I'm gonna, I can live the same life they live. A life that pleases the sight of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Faith helps you to surrender. Faith helps you to give up. They lay it at the altar, praise God. That's what faith is all about. It helps you to say yes. Can you say yes, Lord? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. That's why it said, praise the Lord. It may help you say yes to the Lord, praise God. It don't help you to look for an easy way out. Amen. You think we look no easy way out. We know, amen, praise God. We're going to have faith to have faith. We're going to have to surrender. We know, amen, to have faith. We're going to give up something. Can you say amen again? We know we don't have faith. We're going to lay something down. Can you say amen again? But well, no way, man, for you to have God's best and give God your best. Right. You got to be able to give God your best and all get God's best. Can you say amen? amen. You ain't going to get something nothing, amen. You get best by giving up best. Can you say amen again? Lay in some of the altar saying yes to the Lord, praise God. A lot of times we run over oh, my Lord. You think you're going to live a regular life and get God's best? No. He looked at Abraham, and Abraham was about a hundred years old. He said, look at him. He said, hey, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thy perfect. Yeah. Amen. You want God's best, you got to give God your best. Amen. I lay it at the altar, praise God. The more you can give up the Lord, the more God you going to give you. Can you say that again? The more you lay it at the altar, the more God going to give praise God. Yeah. Amen. 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 You go around and pray. And I said, I'm like, I ain't no, you know, I, 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 I just, I thought about that. If you can't walk a straight line, I ain't just passing. I ain't just messing. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Anytime I thought they ain't walking a straight line, oh, man. you can't follow a straight line. I know. Yeah, you just messing. You, you ain't gonna hear me. That's the size of it. You look at it, man. You can't give up nothing. You waste your time. You got to surrender something. Can you say amen? amen. This is why he said amen. Why amen? Praise God. They thought that amen. Amen. The spirit come in. The spirit get distressed. And now they some go to the far from the faith. They going to give up. They get amen. Praise God. They going to give faith up. 
rather than give up themselves. See, it's much easier to give up yourself than give up the best God has in store for you than for you to give up these little things of the world. You see what I'm talking about? Sometimes we draw a hold on these little bit of things and we give up. And that's why we miss God's blessing because Amen. Just trying to hold. Yeah. Huh? Just yeah. hold God with one hand. Yeah. Hold the devil with the other. You know, you can't, you might turn that devil loose. Yeah. He ain't said to take with the Lord and say with the devil at the same time, wasn't it? Now, if you want the devil, go out there and be the devil's bitch. If you want God's bitch, then come on, come on, just come on there. And give a devil up and be God's bitch. Oh, you can't serve two masters at the same time. Go serve one and hate the other, serve one and love the other one, and, and hate the other one, uh, and serve one and despise the other one. You can't serve two masters. Amen. And you can't have two of them. Two masters. No two buddies can rule your life. Amen. And that's why they, they most of everything in life you had to understand. Yeah. Right? Amen. You you know, you. you I'm going to tell you, you can't, you may not believe me, but you cannot listen to no two preachers and believe one of them. One of us, you ain't going to believe. That makes no sense. Hey, Amen. I didn't say, no, no, you ain't going to believe one. You don't believe the one that.